Kahala Yahawa, by Shem Yahawasha, by Shem Rakakodash, Barakata Yahaw, Barakata Yahawasha, Barakata Yahaw, Barakata Yahawasha, Barakata Yahaw, Barakata Yahawasha, Kahala Yahawa, by Shem Yahawasha, by Shem Rakakodash, double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man, pushing this truth and faithful sincerity. Yahawa, by Shem Yahawasha, by Shem Rakakodash. Barack Obama, tell you sincere listeners when they hear this. All right. And uh, as you can see on the screen, man, all right, some more sickness uh, but, uh, of Esau's uh, fucking world, man. All right, Esau, some some more of, of, of Esau's doing. Well, I got I got a couple precepts. Let me just start right here. Because you got a, a, a six-year-old who wants to uh, be a damn woman, man. All right, he wants to be a, a girl. He wants to be a, a, the opposite gender, which all goes into uh, uh, Esau's uh, gender. Um, I, I forgot the name of it. Uh, gender equality uh, doctrine. Uh, um, no, no gender equality, man. I mean, uh, no, no gender uh, doctrine. Okay, pretty much, you you could be anything you want to be. You could be a man, a woman, a woman and a man, a, a damn beast. You can you could be whatever the hell you want to be, man. All right, Esau's sick doctrine, man. All right, let me start off with this precept before I play this video. And I can't make it too long because I'm on the plantation, so Lord willing, this is edifying. All right, this is uh, Job chapter 4, verse 8. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Yeah, as, as though, uh, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. They, all Esau throughout his history is, is done as been a, a pedophile. Uh, been, been into pedophilia, bestiality, homosexuality, okay, uh, complete wickedness, man. All right, and, and now, um, uh, it's, it's on the forefront, man. All right, now, uh, little children want to be, uh, be uh, the opposite gender. All right, now, uh, you know, it, it, it's okay to, uh, just w wickedness is, is, is accepted now, man. All right, because this, this is the reaping, this, this is what, uh, the, it has reaped, man. All right. They they have reaped uh plowed iniquity, man, through all the wickedness uh, uh of the past time of uh, history of Esau, man. All right, and now this is what it's reaping, man. All right, nothing but uh just straight up perverseness, man. All right, let me get that real quick. All right, because you how about Shimei Asha? The mingled this perverse spirit out here, man. All right, because this is a perverse ass spirit, man. All right, you got little six year olds uh claiming they 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 want to be. Fucking women, you can't even make a uh, qualified decision at six years old, man. All right, this is Isaiah chapter nineteen, verse fourteen. The Lord Yahweh Shimei Shah have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. And that's what's going on, man. All right, these people have, have erred in every work thereof, man. All right, why? Because this is a perverse ass spirit out here, man. All right, some 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 foul ass shit, man. It's a wicked ass world, man. All right, and, and which lets you know that we are in the end. All right, the end is being manifest. Okay, so I'm gonna play this video, and I'm gonna hit uh, some precepts, Lord, with this edifying. Now to a story in Texas where a custody battle isn't making national headlines. A six-year-old child has been diagnosed with a gender dysphoria. That is a conflict between a person's biological sex and their gender identity. According to mother, the mother, the child prefers female pronouns and goes by Luna. But the father insists the six-year-old is a boy. For more, we turn to Jessica Coco, a co-founder of Women for Racial and Economic Equality. Uh, thanks for joining us, Jessica. This is a very interesting subject that we're having to see and deal with in a society today that necessarily in the past has not been a part of the discussion. So I have to ask you, what do you think is in the best interest of this child's well-being, um, as well as for other gender non-conforming children like him? Well, I think it's very important that um, these children are loved for themselves and, um, and that they're also taught self-acceptance. Children should not be forced into adult ideologies and they shouldn't be forced into sex stereotypes. 
Well, so you said that a child should be loved, but I, and I think across the board, both parents obviously feel like, to them, that they are showing him love. Uh, it's just a different definition of it. So we have seen in numerous uh, media reports that rates of referrals to children in gender clinics have skyrocketed in recent years. You haven't seen that in the past. Do you think that's, what do you attribute this rise in these kind of numbers and this kind of complaint where they didn't exist maybe 10 to 15 years ago as much? Well, it's an internet trend. It's a social contagion. It's like fashion. It's like back in the day where everyone had to have a cabbage patch child or, um, or the Rubik's Cube. Children are very uh, prone and uh, to, to fashion. They, they want to be fashionable. They want to be cool. Okay, so if it's just a... Okay, so if this is something actual... <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop it right there. It's not, it's not nothing cool about wanting to be a fucking uh, a transgender, wanting to be uh, the, the, the opposite sex, man. All right, well, what does the scripture say about it? What 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 does the scripture say about it, man? All right, because this is what we are to live by, man. All right, but see, you are the well, well. Let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. Let's just get into the scriptures, man. All right, this is uh, Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-eight. Well, I started at twenty-seven. This is Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-seven. So Yahweh created a man in his own image. Yeah, Yahweh created a man in his own image. All right, and the man is is is, is the man of Israel, man. All right, because you you other um you you well you 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 these these other nations they're man are right, they're flesh okay but they weren't made in the image of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shem man all right but Yahweh has made uh, a man in his image in his own image so we are to aspire to want to be like Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shem man which it says well Yahweh let's get it all right because Yahweh is a man all right Yahweh ain't no damn oh God is a woman all that bullshit man. All right, let's get this. All right, this is Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. The Lord Yahweh is a man of war, is a man of war. The Lord Yahweh is his name. Yeah, Yahweh is his name, man. All right, he a man of war, man. All right, he not uh, nobody who's going to put on uh, who, who feminine, you know, which feminine means lack of faith. All right, you got to have a lack of faith to not want to be who you, who you was biologically set up to be by the Heavenly Father, man. All right. Back in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, 27. So Yahweh created a man in his own image. In the image of Yahweh, he created him. Male and female, he, he created he them. <laughs> and yeah, so Yahweh created a male and a female. He didn't create male and fe a, a she male, man. All right. Where, where, where does it say that, at, man? All right. Verse 28, and Yahweh blessed them, and Yahweh said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. So, how are you gonna be fruitful and multiply? How are you gonna multiply your uh your uh your, how are you gonna multiply with, with children? How are you gonna create children with a man with a man line with a man? That's impossible, man. You can't do that, man. All right. It says, and replenish the earth. Yeah, you can't replenish the earth with a man line with a man. And subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and upon over every living thing that move upon the earth. All right, and that's 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 why uh we, we don't have dominion over everything on the earth, man, because uh, a man don't even have dominion over his own mind, man. Or right, he can't even uh he can't even tell himself that he he's a man. All right, that's that's crazy, man. All right, which which and this 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 is a sticky situation because you got the mother. Who is allowing this, man? Which these women are completely wicked, man. All right, that's why it says, well, let's get it. That's why it says all little is, uh, all wicked, wickedness is little to the wickedness of a woman, man. All right, because a woman, man, she is just completely off, man. Isn't that this is not acceptable, man? All right, this is not acceptable. Okay. Let's see if I can get it. Uh. Well, I'm just get this. Okay, this is, uh. Sirach chapter 25 verse 24 of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her we all die yeah and through her we all die man all right and this 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 is a, a, a prime example of that man all right teaching your kid to be a damn woman all right that's death man all right that's death man that's completely uh adverse to the law that's the commandments you have about she meow shot man and who can you think for this man who has made these crafty devices man all right like genderism and in and made some called gender dysphobia, man. What the hell is that, man? All right, let's let's get this. This this a high level perverse spirit out here, man. 
Alright, this is Job chapter 5, verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. Yeah, yeah, how about she me outside the devices the uh disappointed disappointed the devices of the crafty, man. Alright, what's what's some of those dev devices? Where to turn everybody, let everybody do whatever they want to be, man. Alright. They could be a man or a woman. Okay, they can be a woman or a man. Alright, they can wear what they want to be. They can be a drag. Okay, nothing's wrong with transgenderism. Okay. Just a world full of uh c complete abominations. Okay. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. You know, what's their enterprise? The New World Order, man. All right, pr pretty much a, a, a world completely ran by Satan, man. All right. Let's get this. So, yeah, how about she, man? She's not going to let this happen, man. All right, because unless those days be certain, when no flesh be saved, man. All right, you'll have nothing but sodomites walking around here, man. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear which pertaineth unto a man. All right, so a woman shall wear what pertaineth unto a man. All right. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination to the Lord thy power. You are an abomination to the Lord thy power, man. Anybody wearing a damn, uh, you, 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 you're a man and you wearing a woman's garment, you're an abomination, man. Are right, you an abomination to the Heavenly Father, man? The Heavenly Father ain't dealing with you, man. He hates you. You're disgusting. You're sick. All right, you need to be put to death. All right. Here we go right here. Okay, this is Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So if you, if, if a man also lie with another man, he shall surely be put to death. What, what, what's, what's hard to understand about this, man? So you're worthy of death if, you, if you're uh, participating in homosexuality, man, and transgenderism, man, and this sick, perverse uh, spirit that's out here, man. All right, that's, that's, uh, that's, um, that's uh, filtered through the so-called uh, white man's uh, laws, penal code, and, 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 and sick uh, doctrine that he's pushing out here, man. Okay, let's get this. Because this is confusion, man. What, that, that's confusion. A man lying with a man. That's confusion. That's sick. That's, that's nasty, man. All right, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For Yahweh is not the author of confusion. Yeah, Yahweh by Shemiah was saying the author of confusion, man. All right. But of peace, as in all churches of the saints, yeah, because it's it, you, you, you get peace from uh from from doing what, what the heavenly father told you to do. You don't get no peace from being a uh being a sodomite, man. All right, doing what the heavenly father, not not doing what the heavenly father told you to do, man. All right. It's Ephesians chapter six, verse one. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, man. All right, who's supposed to have dominion over the household? The father, man. All right. The father's supposed to have dominion over the household, man. Well, we just read that in Genesis. Well, let's get this. Let's get this. A, a, a woman don't supposed to uh tell. Well, let's get this. Let me get this real quick. Because a woman don't tell the man what. The, the man has the ultimate say-so, man. All right. The woman don't uh have no say-so, man. Let's get this. All right, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 22. How long will thou go about, about, about O backsliding daughter? For the Lord, Yahweh, have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. That's a new thing in the earth, man. All right, that, that's not, uh, that's not uh, how the Lord created things to be, man. A woman uh, telling uh, her, her son it's okay if he wear a fucking dress, man. If, if the father say hell no, nah, then that, that's what it is, man. All right, and, and that bitch need to be stoned, okay? This Colossians chapter 3, verse 20. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well pleasing unto the Lord. Yeah, how will yeah, but obey him, obey him in the Lord, man. All right, not obey him in, in uh, wickedness, man. All right, you can't know you're not obeying the Heavenly Father if you're abiding in wickedness, man. All right, you you obey him through the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemi outside, and who's supposed to implement that in their child? The the, the parents do, man. All right, and if if the, if the parents not doing that, then they worthy of death, man. All right, let's get this. I gotta get ready to go back to the slave trade. All right, this is First Timothy chapter uh, Salaki, I think this uh, Second Timothy. 
Yeah, that's First Timothy. It's lucky. This First Timothy chapter three, verse four. Oh, it's lucky. I'm gonna just pull it up on the screen, cause uh, my Bible, man. It's lucky. I'll jump back to that. One that rule of well his own house, have of his children in subjection with all gravity. So uh, uh, a man who rules his house has his children in all subjection, man. All right. Uh, and, and a woman uh, and, and a woman don't rule the house, man. All right. A man does it. Well, let me get this real quick. I got to get ready to wrap it up, brothers. All right. Like I said, Lord, when this edifying. Okay, this is Job chapter 14, verse 1. Man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. Yeah, there's 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 full you a man that's born of a woman, man. Whew. That you you your your days are you you are a few days and full of trouble, man. All right, cause this bitch don't know it's, it's, a woman don't know how to raise you properly, man. All right, let me get these last few and I'm gonna just wrap it up. All right, I had to kind of shoot rapid fire on these. Okay, it's Proverbs. Chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. Yeah, train up a well, child in the way he should go. All right. And, and, and he shouldn't go in the, in the ways of Esau. All right. That's, that's, that's a hell no. All right. This is Proverbs chapter 23, verse 13. Withhold not correction from the trial, for if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Yeah, man. This nigga. If your child uh, say he want to be a homosexual, or if, or if your child say they want to be a lesbian, well, well, put the rod on them, man. All right, they ain't gonna die. All right, you got you got to slap it up out of them, man. All right, this this is the law, man. All right, so Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give our praise to you. How about Shem? I was shy by Shem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostle and elders of Great Millstone. Peace to say, teachers to the house of David. Shalom to the elect.